I'm Mary Phillips, teen librarian and reference librarian, and welcome back to my yard. Today I'm standing in my dear proof bed. Remember Superstorm Sandy? Well, we had a lovely magnolia tree right here, and two oaks and a maple fell on it and took everything out. By the time we cleaned up the yard and had the tree men take away all the debris, this lawn was scoured. And instead of planting grass, I thought, I have another garden bed. And since I know my yard and all the critters that go through it, I decided to plant a deer-proof bed. So all the plants I have here are things that the deer won't eat, the rabbits won't eat, and the groundhogs won't eat. So some of the things that I have, I have daffodils, and they're just finishing up and I have a lot of different daffodils. Daffodils are wonderful because they range from stark white to almost an orange color, all different faces with the trumpet and sometimes ruffled, and I have them all over the yard. Another favorite plant that no one eats are peonies, and peonies are well worth the effort. They'll last you a lifetime. They can go 50 years. So if you want to invest in something, peonies are great. They bloom at a time when spring blossoms have finished and summer plants haven't come into bloom. So they're really, really nice. I love peonies. Some of the other things I have, I have some flowering onions in here, um, which you can't see too well. They're under my new magnolia tree, which I planted. And that particular magnolia tree does bloom in, intermittently in the summer. So it actually was a bit of a nice thing for me. I also have digitalis in this garden. I have some way over on the side you can't see. I don't recommend planting it if you have small children because it is poisonous and I don't bring it in as a cut flower, but it is lovely. So I really do like it. I moved some ornamental grasses up when I did this bed and inadvertently took some Monarda with me, which is in the mint family. And the Monarda over here is all over my garden. And it does get a little invasive, but I love it. It, it gets really tall, has bright red flowers, and hummingbirds and bees just absolutely love it. Now, to give me flowers all the way to frost in the fall, I'm going to plant this bed with my snapdragons. Snapdragons are wonderful annuals. I've never had anything eat snapdragons. These are tall ones. You can get short ones. You can get tall ones. They come in all colors, pinks, whites, yellows, reds, and a variety of colors. Uh, so if you want to plant some annuals, and have nothing eat it, I highly recommend snapdragons. Now these are just some of the plants that you can plant in your deer-proof garden. There are lots of others you can put in, such as poppies and other plants that deer do not eat. So when you go and decide to plant, if you buy plants, it'll usually indicate if deer will not eat it, buy a deer with a cross through it. But if it doesn't say anything, just assume that critters will eat it.